The next question is, if we have to assess the contribution of HR function to the whole organization, what will be the parameters? What are the deliverables of HR as a function? Like marketing deliverable is to market the product, like production department has a deliverable to produce the product and services in the most efficient way. In the same manner, what are the deliverables of HR function? So, deliverables for HR function are considered to be a mindset, technical knowledge of the employees and behavior of the employees. Mindset is the combination of attitude, belief, commitment, motivation, morale of the employees. Technical knowledge is related to the uh, specific technical knowledge and general technical knowledge required to function in an organization. And technical knowledge is not only related to the production or innovation, it can also be related to following the safety norms or uh, it can be also uh, about following the simple processes and systems. Then comes the behavior, organization member should behave in a way which is good for the team and for the organization. The role of HR is being influenced by some of the major uh, changing elements in our environment. These changing elements or trends can be clubbed in the four broad streams, uh, globalization trend, technological trends, trends in the nature of work and workforce, demogra uh, workforce demographic changes. Globalization we all know is about uh, sales or manufacturing of the services and product in the, uh, in the country outside of the, uh, uh, outside of the country where the company was established. We know that globalization has been a major change uh, force in last 80 years. Uh, a world trade organization was formed to promote globalization or global trade. Uh, intellectual property is, is also part of this global trade. There are some regional uh, uh, blocks also constituted to promote the inter country trade and uh, exchanges like uh, North, uh, North American Federation or uh, European Union. Globalization has increased competition and has given most and has given immense choices to the customers. As a result of that, customers are becoming more and more demanding and that is putting pressure on the employees to offer their best and better always next time. Then there are some technological trends. Today's time is perhaps most interesting time in terms of uh, technological developments and how the different technological developments are affecting all spheres of life. So, naturally HR function is also bound to be affected by the technological trends. Just one example, uh, few decades ago or say just one decade ago, most important source for recruitment used to be the manpower consultant or recruitment consultants. Now, can you think about who is the most reliable uh, sourcing consultant for the organizations? That is not an animate organization, that is LinkedIn. LinkedIn has become one of the most sought after source, one of the most reliable uh, source for, uh, for identifying the potential recruits. Similarly, uh, artificial intelligence and robotics are changing all aspects of the HR function. We can 
uh, uh, take example of an Indian company called Zing HR. They offer the cloud based HR services to their clients and now they have also connected their function uh, through uh, based on AI and robotics. As a result of this, they are creating a self learning system. These are just examples of some of the technological trends which are affecting all aspects of the HR function, whether it is related to performance management system, recruitment, training and development, compensation management, etcetera. Nature of work is also changing in conjunction with the change and development of technology. Organizations like Ola, Uber, uh, Alliance, these are the organization of the so called employees, which are not employees in a conventional sense. These employees choose the uh, working hours for themselves and they are loosely connected to the core organization. This is the change of the uh, uh, trends in the nature of work. Now, we see uh, so much emphasis on uh, working from home using technology, particularly the information technology to work from home. We are also seeing the workforce demographic trends are changing. In any society, population follows a particular trend. Currently, India is a young society. The average age of India is about 28 years, but it is not going to remain same. In next uh, 7 8 decades, the average age will be much more of India in comparison to what it is today. In that situation, we will require a different kind of HR systems and processes to support the aging uh, workforce. This situation is already there in Japan, in many European countries. This is one kind of the change in the demographic trend, which will keep, which will keep coming in few decades or which will keep coming in different forms in different societies. Currently, we are also talking about generation X, generation Y or called millennials and their entry into the workforce. They are different in terms of their aspirations, in terms of their exposure and as a result of that, their expectation from work, workplace and supervisors are different from the people uh, of the earlier generation this can be understood as a challenge or must be understood as a inevitable trend uh, in the uh, workforce. So, these are the important trends which are affecting the uh, human resource management function. I would like to point out some of the questions, some of the pointed questions and each HR has to answer these questions to put up what value they are bringing to the business organization. Uh, do employees know and understand the firm's strategy? This is first question HR must uh, answer to itself and to the business leadership. Do employees know and understand the status of the firm's success? with respect to the pursuit of that strategy? Do employees know and understand the firm's value proposition and how that is delivered in the marketplace? Do employees know and understand what they are to do, what is expected from them? Do employees believe uh, they have the skills and knowledge necessary to do their job? Are employees provided the managerial support and support system to do a job to the best of their ability? We all know that India is enjoying the demographic dividend, meaning having a large pool of 
skilled men, uh, large pool of the youth population, a working population. But that is not sufficient. The youth population also have to have strong skill sets, which are relevant in the marketplace. HR has to keep asking within the organization, do people have appropriate skills and competencies to deliver what is expected from them. Last but not the least, what level of competency is necessary in strategic resource positions now? How many truly A players are in the A positions? Do we have the best people populating the most critical positions in the organization? Are our leaders behaving in the way that elicit followership? Nothing inspires more to the employees than leaders behavior. So, HR need to look at the leaders as well as employees in terms of their behavior, their mindset and the competence.